I'm talking about today about the separation of what? The lost church. These things became important in the days of fire, in the days of power. Men shall be willing. On Ananias and Sapphire, they were mixed up. It was a mixed multitude. And they stood and they walked and they were among the disciples and nobody knew who was who. But a day came. A day came that God by himself, he separated who was who. I tell you something, a time is coming where you can't come into the house of God and lie and go free. No. You dare not touch the money of God and then go unpunished. You won't do that again. I believe God because these are the days we are. Let's look at the word of God from the book of Acts from chapter 5 from verse 11. We are going to see uncommon manifestations of power. God is out to, manif to manifest his glory. And what I see God doing is exactly what I know that happens. And this is actually the sparking off of revival that we are seeing from the East Gate as we are announcing it. Acts chapter 5 verse 11 says, So great fear came upon all the church and upon all who heard these things. Verse 12, great church came upon all the church. And through the hands of the apostles, many signs and wonders were done among the people. And they were all with one accord in Solomon's porch. A time of accord has come. A time of unity has come. A time when God will begin to manifest his power and his glory has come. Acts chapter 5 verse 9. I declare and prophesy from the altar of the east gate. I speak into the revival of the east gate and the church in the name of our Lord Jesus. And I tear as I stay and I declare. Then Peter said to her, How is that that you have agreed together to test the spirit of the Lord? Look, the feet of those who have buried your husband are at the door and they will carry you out. You now, some people are telling me, Why are you telling people why should they die? But listen, this is New Testament. This is New Testament. This is after resurrection power. This is what the resurrection power ought to accomplish now. Listen, people. Peter said to her, How is it that you agree together to test the spirit of the Lord? I stand on the altar to let you understand that those who come to test the spirit of the Lord, that they are not allowed to survive. Hear me? It's because the church has become cold. That's why people step through the altar, they defile it, and they walk away and nothing happens to them. But I declare the seasons we are coming into, those who come to test the spirit of the Lord, to pollute the work of God, and to pull down the house of God, they will begin to see their feet being dragged out. They begin to see God carrying them out. They begin to see God's wonders and signs bowing them like Simeon. Hear me? The days that we are coming into are days of fire. And I know it's going to start from the altar. So just in case you consider yourself a servant of God and you go about your life as you choose, watch it. Because I know the times we are coming into. The days we have come into are days of raw fire. These are times that God will begin to prove himself strong and on account of those who are willing and those who are ready. I mean, the Bible said, that are willing shall eat the fruits of the land. And we are in the days of his power. We are in the days where his fire we tolerate a zero. When I mean zero, I mean, what did they do? What did they do? Acts chapter 5 verse 8, what did they do? What was it that they did that they dropped dead? To be compared with what is happening now. Acts chapter 5 verse 8, what did they do? And Peter said to her, tell me whether you saw the land for so much. She said, yes. So what did she do? She lied. She lied. Conspiracy to lie. But now, Peter made her, made him to understand, made her to understand, hey me, it is the Holy Ghost that you lie to. When God encountered Saul on his way to Damascus, Acts chapter 10. I tell you something. I tell you something, people. Listen to me, our God is on the throne. If he's not real to you, even yesterday, those of us that were up on this mountain, we witnessed him at all dimensions. We had more than 15 laborers that were working. All of them stood still. When the man finally came up on the mountain, those who saw him, they said, we too have seen it. We have actually, each of us have gone through this same fire. And I say this thing because I have seen it. And because I have seen it, I know that this same God, I tell you today, he's here with us. We are not to fear. We are not to be taken over by powers that are challenging you. What you need to do is to align yourself with the purposes of heaven and see God fight your battles and see God give you victory. Even as I speak, that fire has come down. It's on this altar. 
and in the presence of this fire I call for the seasons of the Damascus encounter Acts chapter 9 what happened on the road of and on the road to Damascus Acts chapter 9 from verse 1 to 9 and the Bible recorded it then Saul still breathing threats and murder against the disciples of the Lord went to the high priest let's take verse 8 asking for letters what was he going to use them for to go to destroy the sins okay let's go to verse 6 let me start from 6 the days of his power men are willing and that's where we're going into verse 6 so he trembling and astonished said you know you know that kind of trembling i'm talking about i think you are seeing it now trembling god is putting on trembling men begin to tremble this is the time they trembling the other man ran at that same place my head panado 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 the same location the same spot right there all of them within this week the ones happening here trembling crying the one of last night even as i speak that fire is on me right now crying screaming i want jesus give me jesus sorry sorry pull the shirt fire trouser down nobody's praying for him nobody spoke to him he hit an angel the days of damascus is here it's the time of damascus trembling and astonished said lord what do you want me to do you know this is the time they'll ask you what do you want me to do the man was saying please what do you want me to you know this which thing it's because the fire the power that bring men to tremble the church is delaying it then the lord said to him arise go into the city and you'll be told what you must do this is where the church must come to for this which is to step down this is where the church must come to where this wickedness and evil men will be directed to where they must go and if they don't do it you know i remember the other one that had his encounter two days ago and i was trying to tell him this is what you have to do and he was trying to be stubborn ah, he said i've not been to church for 20 years i said i've not been to church for 20 years i said but now you are now in the church so what is going to be the next thing do you want more of the trembling anointing say no mama please mama please sorry i don't want to tremble again mama please please just tell me anything you want i'm going to do it and these are people that formally by the time they are talking they are saying their own as i talk the fire is on my feet is on in the book ada ina madabana abo ah yana magaba yana hagade and i pray them out this morning we have been sent into your life to cause you to tremble we have been sent into the land so that men shall tremble power that have come to cause us to tremble i command in the name of our lord jesus that the fire of the holy ghost rising from the altar trembling shall be their portion trembling shall be their portion wickedness that shall not repent i declare this morning wherever they are wherever they are hiding let them begin to tremble in the name of our lord jesus they shall be astonished the fire is all over here and we are inside here now and there's anything that is sitting in your life if it's inside you i command that power to start trembling whatever that is inside you harassing you i command the powers harassing you to start trembling by the fire of the holy ghost because they must come out and one way to the pit in the name of our lord jesus every power opposing your destiny powers oppressing your destiny and your existence i command those powers in the name of our lord jesus let them begin to tremble one way to the pit are they oppressing your children oppressing your husband or your wife or your business i command the powers one way to the pit let them come out begin to tremble in the name of our lord jesus they are going out now by the fire of the holy ghost are you online and the powers bothering you right there where you are i release the fire of the holy ghost upon you from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet is in your stomach all over you rakapa shegade on your feet take it on your hands take it on your head take it let the fire of the holy ghost rakapa shegade all over all over all over all over this auditorium fill it up oh god with your fire 
today anyone that is still living in sin struggling with your past you must let go of them as chapter 9 verse 7 that fire is on the increase it's not stopping it's increasing all over verse 7 and the man who journeyed with him stood speechless hearing a voice but seeing no one you are on a mountain of fire and there are innumerable angels here right now. Every interference is arrested now in Jesus' name. Activate angels that are here. In the name of our Lord Jesus and empower them to excel in strength. Let them do their assignment today. Let them start with me. Let them start with Revival City. Let them start with my household. Let them go out into the territories where there are battles and issues to be settled. Let them not return until they complete the battles. All those who connect with us on this altar, you are going to be visited now. Wherever you are, edges are on assignment. They are meeting with you now. They are there to fight the adversary, to deal with the spiritual robbers, to recover what is stolen. To do the bidding of God to deliver important messages. To deliver things that have been seized in the spirit. To fight and to restore things that need to be in place. They are there to complete projects and to assign new projects. They are there to commission new things and to close old gates. Thank you Jesus. Can you add your prayers? Can you send your angels on assignment right now? Can you send them on assignment? Speak to them. Oh, 